What I want you to get, to get from this uh, little demonstration that I have here is it's just a step display that shows you uh, the steps that I went through when I created um, some of my artwork. And the reason why I have all these steps is that if you're going to work on a computer, if you're going to work on your laptop, for goodness sakes, don't forget to save it and save it and save it. And what I did is rather than saving it over top of itself all the time so you only have one image I always save it as a copy which means it, it creates a snapshot of where you're at it at, at different steps of the drawing it, that's kind of cool because once in a while you'll get to a finished product and you'll say you know I really like this so much better about six steps ago when I was when I didn't put the grass on there so there isn't uh, the cat that's demonstrated down below you'll notice it's a cat's face and then I added grass well a lot of people have stated they like the just the drawing of the cat so much better than the drawing with all the the um, grass on it and then if you go further on I tried to put um, tried to express the fact that this cat is early in the morning and there's some dew on the grass and the cat as it breathes is letting out this white smoke well the white smoke my son doesn't like it he looked at it and said no dad why'd you put that white stuff in there I liked it better without so then he liked it two steps before the end and so this is a prime example of by saving it on the different steps you have different pieces of artwork and I you'll see I signed it when I just had the cat and then when I started to add the grass I removed it and then um, three steps before the finish uh, with the white smoke my son liked that one so I could sign that one and give it to him so saving it in the steps is not a bad idea because you can always go back and create another piece of of artwork using that one uh, that one step and so it gives you a, a little bit of an alternative